And barely three weeks after the Federal High Court in Abuja ruled to affirm the May 31st, 2019 Awara Convention of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, the national chairman of the party, Edozi Njoku, has decried the leadership tussle within the party. At a media parley in Abuja, Njoku called for unity amongst party faithfuls to enable it to win more seats in the 2023 general elections. Everyone will look at me and say, why am I continuing? What do I want? What I want is the truth. And we, we can't just be pushed under the table. And finally, that first case that started in the Federal High Court has come out and told the truth that we are the true APGA. That every other case, wherever they've gone, wherever you go and say you are Africa, that the true representation. Africa is in the, in, in the, is in the mind of um, the Southeasterners. You know, it's a party that there's very strong sentiments about. It's, it's a national party, but they have strong sentiments. Well, joining us now in the studio is the national chairman himself of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Edozie Njoku. Thank you so much for being here tonight on the much. program. Thank well, you had your convention since 2019. And, of course, the court has actually affirmed you as the winner of that convention and actually said you are the chairman. Why is there still a tussle? Because I know that there's a Victor Oye somewhere who is still, you know, opposed to the idea that you are the national chairman of APGA. Is APGA one? Is my question. APGA is one. Mm. And even the, the crisis was around during the governorship of Anambra State. And um, if everyone could remember, I kept saying, we will all go back and Apoka will win. Um, forget about the, I, I saw you, you mm. turn, forget about all the our shenanigans that we're playing. Um, let it be a, a party thing, but truth shall always be told. And uh, everybody that knows me know I, would, I was fighting a, a, a governor. Obiano was the one who said, oh yeah, we'll stay there. Um, the next meeting that was done out of place was done in government house. That was Obiano. Well, but beyond Obiano, I know that there's a Supreme Court ruling. So sure. when I say that, I was are, removed. Can I call you a factional leader no, 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 of no, no. Apex? Because going by the ruling no, no, no. of the going by Apex the Court. Going by the Apex Court. Uh -huh. Apex Court. The court, I was removed. Mm -hmm. Forget about Oye. Yes. Oye went to court to join as an interested party. Okay. A man called Judo KK got up in court and said that um, he would take over from me that he would take over from me as national chairman because they are suspending me while I was still fighting with Oye. And it was an offshoot of an Anambra election. And uh, we now went to Supreme Court. And Supreme Court said it was a forum shopping, that the status quo should be reversed. But I was fighting a governor then, and I had to just move back a bit. Because if I had not, that tsunami of that Anambra would have consumed me. So after that Anambra election, we've come back to say, and we still went back to court, and they took us to our appeal court, brought one of the best lawyers, Olenek Bekun, to fight against me, which he did a wonderful job. I never knew such a thing could ever happen, but it did happen. But if we were not wise and slowed down a bit, that would, there would have been no talk about it, Dozie and Joko. I just had to gradually, gradually grind it and grind it so that they threw it out. And, Thank God the truth was out in 6th of April. Right. With that judgment is what you're saying. With the judge, when the court now said that, um, uh -huh. they, that, that, that the true representation of her, because that, that has been going on for over three years. So where do we place the Supreme Court judgment in all of this? That the you Supreme Court judgment was against was. me, uh -huh. against my removal. Yes. And they said I should not have been removed the way I was. Okay. Nothing so, to do with Oye. He joined as an interested party. All right. So now let's. Let, I want to have a conversation because political Please. parties and the, I know that usually there is an internal mechanism set up Spare within up political that. parties to resolve issues such as this one. Why instead of the whole litigation, okay. have you tried that kind let of tell, and me, have you tried to let push tell, the only let, 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 let branch tell, across to Victor tell, Oye? Let, let me tell you. I've, I've already said. I said that about weeks ago or months ago. That. I was prepared, and I'm also prepared. If, we, if for Apoga to move forward, Oye stands aside and I stand aside. Let the party move forward. Let him, let's two of us give up and let us bring someone else to be national chairman of Apoga. But that doesn't, you, with you saying you step aside, he steps aside. But have two of you had an opportunity to have a meeting well, to reach some sort of compromise? If you mean you step aside, well, but together, it is easy. deciding for the interest of your party, which by the way, you're not a major party. You only have one state where you actually control, which is Anambra State, where you were victorious in the last election. But other than that, Abga, with just one state, having all of these issues, 
who would have thought you'd be able to put your house in order to be able uh, to challenge we're, other we're, political we're parties? And where houses, uh, let's leave it. Uh, it's easy to sit somewhere and say, let's put the house in. Now, politics is a little bit more complex than it's a game of interest. And um, interest get played out. But what we are saying is that in 2020, when we were in that court, they decided to pull out of the court case. They pulled out and said, we have settled, let's settle. Because there was also a, 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 a Abuka took Oye to court and said he was not their national chairman up to mm. them. It, it's, it's, so, it's, it's so easy for us to say, let's do this, let's do Because it's a game of, what I'm saying is, if there are great people around who could say, let us get the party in order, tell Oye today, stop. Njoko, stop. Let us get this thing together and prepare for and it. And who is that person who's supposed to do that? I ask you this, and is, has INEC recognized you as the authentic chairman INEC of ABGA? INEC are in a process now because of the judgment, and they said by uh. next week they're going to come up with something. So we're waiting for them. We're begging them to come up quickly and give All and right. make a process. Uh, well, maybe we'll have that conversation after you yes. know, you're done with INEC. But yeah. you know, as we wrap this up, 2023 yeah. is around the corner. Like yeah. I have said, ABGA, yeah. a, a, a party that one would have thought has a lot of potential, but with all of your infightings, maybe that might be affecting your parties. It but not moving on right now, 2023 is around the corner. We're seeing major parties really, you know, galvanize support what's within major, the party. What's a major, okay, what do you mean by major party? Well, the ruling party at least. Okay. Galvanize support party, within their party to yeah. ensure that they come out top True. in the 2023 general election. So you, as the chairman of APCA, as you have said, the court have recognized you. What are you doing to ensure that you galvanize all support of all corners within your party to ensure that APCA comes out victorious in the next general elections? You, you know, like uh, like tomorrow we're in Ebony State, the next uh, the day after tomorrow, and the week after we're in Bauchi State, where then we're doing our little campaigns as much as we can mm -hmm. to galvanize our people. And um, the taste of the pudding is always in the eating. Mm. Everyone said we will lose Anambra, but we didn't. With all that crisis, we're looking. And I told them, and I had to tell my challenge that we will not lose it, leave it. Apoka is in depth, it's so on ground that once we are able to leave Njoko and Oye to be doing their rubbish up there, get the grassroots together. We will win. But you are the Njoko who you're saying. That's like what leave me and Oye to be doing our rubbish. The, the party should always mm. have it at the back of their mind. This party is a party that the South Eastern have so much love for. Mm. All we need to do, keep galvanizing. If you get carried away with Unjoko and get carried away with Oye, we'll run into problems. We, I've told our people, forget about Unjoko, forget about Oye. Let them be doing whatever they're doing. They're called, but hold that grassroots that are in love with you. Right. It's too important. We we'll have to say thank you so much for joining us mm. uh, tonight.